What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is the top 10 American fast food chains. A couple caveats with this one, it is a Watch Mojo video. I've got nothing against Watch Mojo. I don't know if you've got anything against Watch Mojo. I don't think so. But a lot of people in the comments every time we do them say, they can't be trusted. That's what people say. The link is in the, the description if you want to check the channel out, if you enjoy the video. Um, nothing against them one bit. I'm just saying what the comments say. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying, what we're expecting. So, what I'm trying to get at, I may, may have said this in a very long way, this isn't going to be everyone's top 10. Okay. You know what I mean? There's going to be potential. Oh, well, the thing is, even... It's not their fault, because it's not... No matter this who is their did it, opinion, yeah. who lost in the pond could do it, and still people would have an opinion. That so is very don't true. blame them for that. Yeah, don't blame Watch Mojo. Also, um, McDonald's better be first, otherwise. I I'll think, be, yeah, I'll be re doing this intro. Yeah, I mean, yeah, your favourite McDonald's. But in the UK, we've got the main three. Pretty much, what would go with would be KFC, uh, McDonald's, KFC, Burger King. Burger King. Sure. Burger King's definitely number three for me. Yeah, it's definitely. Crap, but that kind of is our only option. I mean, really. yeah, KFC or McDonald's is tight for me. It depends what I fancy. I, you know, at the moment I'd go KFC because I've had way too much McDonald's. They both give a different thing, so it's whatever you're in the mood for. Because if Very you're in true. the mood for a burger, then you're definitely going to so go McDonald's. So you're saying sometimes KFC is better than McDonald's? I personally don't really. I'm really that bothered. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm not. I only eat my KFC. I knew you were going to get You do. I never go to KFC for myself. Yeah. So maybe. McDonald's for you. 100%. And then KFC and then Burger King. Not even Burger King, I hate it. Not even Burger King. Let us know your top ones in the comments for the American ones. You can have them free if they are your favourite three. So let us know in the comments below. Are you ready? Ready. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Let's check out top 10 American fast food chains. What we got? They're the places to go when we're on a budget and too tired to cook. Get the new Premier Dog. Only at New York Fries. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 American fast food chains. Bayou Buffalo Wicked Chicken and Football. For this list, we're focusing on chains of fast food establishments that were founded in the United States and that focus on selling food, not some other product like coffee or juice. We're ranking our choices based on their popularity, trend-setting achievements, and customer satisfaction. Yeah, we know that then. some of these places may not be the most reputable for their effects on the health of their customers, but we're not saying you should be eating here every day. McDonald's is definitely on, on there. For 99 cents. Number 10, Taco Bell. Yo okay. quiero Taco Bell. Apart from tacos, this fast food chain has earned its place as a market giant with its quesadillas, nachos, and other Tex-Mex favorites. America's looking for something exciting to eat. America heads for Taco Bell. Founded in 1962 by Glenn Bell, this chain took less than a decade to expand to over 300 locations in the U.S. and to go public. Putting out You've innovative items like their no, Doritos Locos Tacos and yeah, yeah. XXL... in London there's one, isn't there? No, there's one in Rotherham. Oh, is it all over London, is it? I've never had one, have you? I've never had one, no. but I've seen it. Maybe you should try it one day. ...sized products. Taco Bell continues to keep up revenue-wise with the competition. With a recent and ambitious move towards the battle for breakfast, breakfast there's little Ooh. doubt the company will continue to grow and live must. Hot waffle Taco looks Bell's good. exciting new breakfast menu. I want to try Taco Number Bell nine, breakfast. Carl's Jr. Did I get it? Am I good? Carl's Jr. Have you ever heard of that? Chili no. cheeseburgers. Back at Carl's Jr. What started as a hot dog cart in 1941 by Carl and Margaret Karcher, quickly spawned a full-fledged drive-in restaurant, as well as smaller versions of the establishment. Hence, how Why the chain got there? its name. What do you I mean? call it my bikini burger. The Carl's Jr. Teriyaki Burger with grilled <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> More than just a piece of meat. In its lifespan, the well, do you want it to be like, just like, pop a like, go like for it? Like, realistic. Like, no one is eating a burger like that, is <laughs> it's, it? It's probably ad though, isn't it? Yeah, but only cringy men are looking at that. <laughs> prominence for Everyone else is like, what's she doing? Non-traditional <laughs> condiments on its burgers, including bacon, onion rings, I don't look like that when I eat a burger. Cheese steak. <laughs> With hot selling menu items such as their western burgers that and the good. gourmet restaurant style the six dollar burgers, mm. the Karcher's fast so. food has come here? a long way from hot dogs. They're definitely yeah, marketing to some audience. What is going on? <laughs> More. <laughs> this is a fast food place. <laughs> They're definitely marketing for some kind of audience. I don't get it. Like, what? <laughs> oh, like, middle-aged men? I don't, like, I don't know. Is that a common thing? Would I don't that make you a want to thing. go eat a burger? Not really, no. Not I'm not really, really a burger eater, no. I'm not really a burger eater. Meat. It's just bizarre. <laughs> More cheese, less money. 
la 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 la. That la. would make me more Number cheese, eight, less money. Chipotle, Mexican that picture would make me more. It's a little bit different than your normal uh, mom and pop burrito joint. With food with integrity as their mission, this is one of the earliest examples of a chain spreading the fast casual dining style. Founded in 1993, the company became a presence in the dining industry with its rapid expansion from the initial 16 to its current 1,600 locations within the window of two decades. While rival fast casual competitors like Panera Bread have likewise grown significantly, none rivals the quality of the naturally raised meats and sustainable agriculture practices Chipotle, found at Chipotle. 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 Roll it. Chipotle, did you say? Chipotle. You it's mean a, it's Chipotle, American. but also that's Chipotle. Yeah, Chipotle is what I meant. But hear me out, guys. Chipotle. We've been up since half five in the morning and then we walked 10 miles today. Yeah, I'm aching. <laughs> I actually died. I died, I think. Have you ever had? Chipotle. Chipotle? No. I haven't either. Let us know if you like it in the comments. Oh, I've never yeah, heard of Power Nora Bread. Chipotle yeah. burrito. Have you? Awesome. Yes. Number seven, Dominoes. Yay. Like a Dominoes. <laughs> As the world's largest like pizza Domino's. chain, Domino's and its red, white, and blue logo are recognized across 70 countries thanks to over 10,000 locations. That's a lot of dough. Like yeah. a handmade pan pizza made with fresh dough and two layers of cheese. With innovations that included the 30 minutes or its free delivery guarantee or real-time order tracking apps, Domino's has proven its desire to fully satisfy the eagerly awaiting hungry customer. You can track it from fresh doughy dough balls to the hot pizza that comes right to your door. When the company was ranked last in a national consumer taste test, they took matters into their own hands, entirely changing their recipe and producing a self-aware ad campaign on the subject. Oh, wow. There comes a time when you know you've got to make a change. The result was a huge quarterly gain I that reminded Domino's everyone that fresh. nothing keeps a... I like a Domino's. It'd be interesting to know when that... When that was the only diff uh, the only issue with Domino's is that it's so expensive. Oh, it's so even with all so the deals. So overly priced. The deals like just make it like actually expensive. Little, yeah, they make it expensive, but it's one of them. But I'm getting the a deals, deal. I've got to get it's it. Absolutely ridiculous. So overpriced. Oh, it's so expensive, but it tastes so nice. It tastes it tastes so nice, but it's just not worth the price. <laughs> We'd only get it if it's on a deal, like, and that's. Barely ever. It's always on a deal every day. But we, but, I mean, we barely, we barely get ever it, get it. But we only ever get it on a deal. I think the idea is to set it ridiculously high, and then even the deal is still expensive. But you think we're getting a deal, so you get it. Yeah. That is the logic behind it. But let us know in the comments <laughs> why, when that changed, because I've always liked Domino's. It must have been a long time ago. Might be a U, U, USA thing though. Potentially. Let us know in the comments. The good pizza chain down. You know, a Domino's failure is an option. We know that not everything is gonna going to work. In order to get better, in order to move ahead, you're going to make mistakes. Number six, right, not my hammer Wendy's. cheese pineapple pizza. Gee, yeah. this is pretty good. Founded in Columbus, Wendy's, Ohio without a by Wendy's. Thomas Wendy's. in 1969, I like a Wendy's. I can't Wendy's it, is known for their unique take on the burger. Can you say square patties? Wendy's hamburgers are made with fresh ground beef. So one reason they taste so fresh and hot. I had a chicken burger. Ours did not look like that, can I just say, frozen. by the way? I had it a chicken burger. Yeah, but it was really squished, wasn't it, into the little... It was, wrapper. yeah, definitely squished. It didn't look as big as that. <laughs> I, I, you know, I really enjoyed Wendy's, I had to be burger, fair. Though. Yeah, we had chicken, didn't we? Stiff. While the company doesn't sell its own signature sandwich, like McDonald's Big Mac or Burger King's Whopper, it does serve a number of well-received oh, items, Baconator. like the Baconator, the Pretzel Bun Burger, and mm. its own line of frozen desserts appropriately named Frosty. With its cool, creamy, chocolatey, and totally unique texture. Other That's notable nice. distinctions in terms of business practices include franchise owners' leeway with store hours, interior design, product sales, and staff uniforms. But don't worry, you'll never be asking, Where is the beef? <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's kind of people never ask, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody there. Number five. I did enjoy it. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Are you making it high? good enough? Oh, or are you Pizza making Hush it great just... with America's yeah. number one choice, Pizza Hut? Started in 1958 in Wichita, Kansas, Pizza Hut is famous for its many innovative products, including many Pizza different so varieties high. of crust. Price is above like stuffed crust, crust cheap. for example. Mm. With tons of toppings and cheese baked right into the crust, it's unlike anything you've ever seen. Though today, many of the chain's franchises are packaged with another of Yum! Brand's subsidiaries. The earliest Pizza Huts became popular thanks to their fitting red roof architecture, cozy interior atmospheres, and upscale menus. Today, the company continues building on its Italian-American-based cuisine, expanding to sandwiches, chicken, and pasta. To be it's fair, so tasty. 
The last few times we've been to Pizza Hut, I've got lasagna. Lasagna, yeah. I've always gone for a pizza. But that is a good thing about pizza. It's cheaper, isn't it? You actually go It's a lot cheaper. The pizza isn't as nice. Free refills. Free refills. Oh, that's the only place we've got free refills, isn't it? And that's gone. And now it's gone, so we don't have any places with free refills. it's the self-serving ice cream. Yeah. But um, it was cheap, and that's a good thing. I mean, it wasn't bad quality. No, it's not bad. It's just not quite quite nice at Domino's. But the lasagna was good. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, we'll have to go to the UK, just go Pizza Hut. One would think you made or America. It. Oh, just America. Pasta from Pizza Hut. While the company is known for quick service and delivery options, it's one of the few fast food chains whose full service restaurants contain bars and other non traditional amenities. Oh, wow, look at that. We didn't have arcades. That's sick. I'd never leave. That's an American. Number four, thing. KFC. <laughs> we start with good fresh chicken, we cook it up two ways. While some of us may prefer like our KFC. traditional fire grilled chicken, it doesn't compare to the Colonel's recipe of 11 herbs and spices. Oh, but that's the Colonel's secret. Founded in the wake of the Depression in 1930, Kentucky Fried Chicken, as it was originally known, was the brainchild of Colonel Harlan Sanders. Only way to serve our customers right. And his venture was a bold move, not only in the timing of its birth, but also because of its presence in an industry that was and continues to be dominated by burger joints. Today, KFC stands as the most successful restaurant specializing in fried chicken, as well as the second largest fast food chain in terms of revenue in the world. Okay, second Colonel, largest. Wow. hit the road. It is expensive, to be fair. It is. Number three, Burger King. <laughs> oh, are you, why do you say that? I know what's going to be first. McDonald's is definitely going to be first, isn't it? But what's second? I don't know what second is. I am very surprised Burger King's ahead of KFC. Maybe they said it's dominated by burger joints. Yeah, but America's might be better. Yeah, and we I, I don't like burgers, really, so that's why I have a chicken burger. So maybe mm. that's where my bias just come in. Mm. May I help you, sir? If I wanted a Whopper, and I asked you to hold the pickles and hold the lettuce, I know I'd get that fast. While it may not be the king <laughs> okay. of our list, it has certainly taken the top spot in the hearts of many a fast food frequenter. Founded in 1953 as Insta Burger King, this chain continues to flourish with over 13,000 locations in 79 different countries, 99% of which are owned and operated as franchises. <laughs> oh my days. That's impressive. I mean, that's more realistic. Though the chain's signature line of Whopper burgers has kept the company afloat, in recent years, BK has started to move away from their more male-centric product line and towards healthier options with fewer trans fats, keeping them on par with similar rivals. Never had Burger King breakfast. So I can just have to Oh, that's why, yeah. <laughs> Number two, Subway. Uh, Subway restaurants, oh. you choose your friend. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. I'm surprised Five Guys isn't on there. Yeah, but we've had no Five It might be next. We're just assuming McDonald's I next. I just swore then. I swear if McDonald's <laughs> is not on this list and Subway and Burger King are on this list. I'm disappointed, uh, Subway. I mean, Subway could have been like nine or something, but I guess we did learn the fact, didn't we? There's more Subways in the world than McDonald's. Yeah, but it's... We learned that the other day. There is more subways in the world than McDonald's. So maybe that's where the popularity comes from. There's just so many of them. Still. People do like a foot long. I'm not the biggest fan, but... Freshly baked bread. Ice first. I like the toaster. Size. Cheese, Cheese toaster. And veggies to make a sub that's just right for you. As a privately held brand owned by a company called Doctors Associates, Subway has become famous for its emphasis on excellent tasting, yes, healthy menu items singing. since its inception in 1965. We're all about finding unique veggies that give your sandwich even more life. With sandwiches, soups, and salads being the mainstays of this chain's menu. Remember Jared from Subway? It's the perfect quick service establishment for health buffs, vegetarians, people looking to drop weight, and anyone who's sick of traditional fast food choices. Fast food is healthy at least. Yes, yeah. Quiznos is toasty and tasty, but Subway remains the world's largest restaurant chain commanding over 42,000 locations and remaining the preferred sandwich shop by franchisees and the health conscious. Only thing better than creating this cool, crisp, colorful rainbow is watching you work your sandwich magic. Before we unveil our top fast food giant, here are a cool, few honorable mentions. <laughs> <laughs> Mega 
Jack in the box. <laughs> no way. Yep. All right. So what do you think? Delicious. Told you. Now my burgers are so good. Even Ronald McDonald likes them. We found a Papa John's <laughs> with two Papa simple John's. premises. Oh uh, yes, Papa. I've, I've never had it. I have. Oh, we have. Make them. Oh, we had it. it. weren't very nice, was it? We had it in the UK. Yeah, once. But the first time I had it, it was good. Yeah, I had one from the UK. It weren't that nice. So get that off the list. Best pizza you can. And these honey mustard and Swiss chicken sandwiches, good or what? Sonic totally. Sonic drive it. Man, it's like. Swiss. No, it's swish. No, the sound of basketball makes going through yeah. a net. Swish. Swiss. Sound. Number one, McDonald's. Yeah. There you go. Back off. <laughs> With signature products like the Big Mac, Quarter Pounder, Happy Meals, McNuggets, McMuffins, and more. McDonald's menus cater not only to burger lovers, it's definitely but also variety. to kids, well, early birds, variety, yeah. coffee house enthusiasts, and even health nuts. There's always an extra fry at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> that diversity is what has helped the Golden Arches survive and thrive since 1955, oh, when Ray Kroc so opened his it? first franchise of the McDonald Brothers Endeavor. Though McDonald's has faced competition from both non-burger restaurants like Subway None. and premium burger alternatives like Five Guys and In-N-Out, it still stands as the quintessential example and king of fast food. An empire that boasts over 35,000 locations McDonald's do you need? <laughs> and posts net profits as high as 5.5 billion U.S. dollars. Hey, Ronald. Here I am, kid. Hey, isn't watching TV fun? Especially when you got delicious McDonald's hamburgers. Ronald. Do you agree with our list? Which fast food can't you live without? For more burgerlicious top tens published every day, be Where's sure to subscribe to this? WatchMojo.com. Oh, I can relate to it. Oh, is that you eating McDonald's? <laughs> yeah, look. Where, where's the men? That, is that you eating oh, McDonald's? That's me and McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> so, much like I really enjoyed it, guys. McDonald's, unsurprising. I feel like, again, Five Guys was mentioned at the end there, but it wasn't on the list. In and Out wasn't, which I'd heard of. Not very. It's weird because I know, like, McDonald's are not all American, but to what I would perceive as an American, take, like, fast foods. It'd be something that you can't get guys. anywhere else. Yeah, you, like that. Like, In and Out Burger, I would. Class that as an American fast food. Yeah, I expected them to be Obviously, on there. McDonald's is American. Yeah. But... We just don't see it as American as much because we have it. Yeah, it's... If that makes sense. It's worldwide. Smash that like button in if you enjoyed the video. Let us know what you thought of the list. Again, it's all personal opinion. Let us know your top three in the comments below. And watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.